Hi, I'm Estella. And I'm Julia. And welcome, welcome to Summit, Summit High, High School. School. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ren. And I'm Maya. And we're sophomores at Summit High School. Thought it'd be fun if we all went around, introduced ourselves, said a little something about us. I'm Ren. I'm the stuntman. I like to party. Alright, Julie, you're up. Uh, my name is uh, Julia, and uh, I like to party. Uh, Julia, I just said that, so how about... She's a little something different. My name is uh, Julia, and uh, I'm a stuntman. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's move on to Maya. Hi, uh, my name is Maya, and uh, I also <laughs> like to party. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say to Julia, Maya? Oops. I like to party, I'm Ren. Uh, Ian, you don't party. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I party. Uh, we all I'm party. the only one that parties. We all party. We all party. <laughs> Welcome to Summit High School Announcements. I'm Ian. I'm Julia. Tomorrow is our annual field day, and so we will be on the attached field day schedule. And on Tuesday, we will be on the attached schedule for the senior awards assembly. The library is open at lunch for a silent, independent study. A maximum of 24 students may study in the library during lunch. The strict limited in ensures that students who want to study have a quiet place to do so. Tables are on a first come first serve basis, so arrive early if you'd like a spot. Passes will be handed out when lunch begins, not earlier. Tickets to the class of 2018's grad party are now on sale. Tickets are $25 each and can be purchased by cash or check or through the following PayPal link. Students, you are welcome to turn in your books and iPad as soon as you're done with them. Before returning your iPad, make sure you are really truly done with every class. Beat the rush by turning in all your library materials as soon as you can. Interact Club is putting on Ben's first 5K color run. It will be on Saturday, June 2nd at Pacific Crest and start at 10 a.m. All proceeds will be going to the benefit 10 Friends, an organization that supports young women's education in Nepal. Please sign up for this special event. Enjoy post-race festivities with food trucks, music, and raffle. Sign up with the registration website. Have you ever thought about hosting an exchange student? If so, we have a great opportunity for you. Every year, Rotary Club, the Greater Bend, sponsors an inbound exchange student and will be for the 2018 to 2019 school year. It will be a welcoming Juan Sanabria, a 15 year old boy from Paraguay. We are seeking three host families for the year. Each host family will host Juan for about three months. If you're interested in learning more about this great opportunity, please contact Bruce Abernethy at bruce at abernethy at ben.k12.org at US. <laughs> Okay, so Gus, what are you looking forward to most coming into your freshman year? I guess... Or what were you looking forward to? Meeting new friends because I transferred to Summit and just like having fun. Where did you transfer from? I transferred from Ben High before the first semester ended. Okay, okay. And uh, what do you look forward to most about your sophomore year? Um, having good grades, all A's and B's, and doing pretty good in sports. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you excited to get your license? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I need to get my permit first, so I haven't really been focusing on that yet. I got you, I got you. Uh, what were you looking forward to most coming into senior year? Uh, I was looking forward to being done and high school wrapped up and moving out with my life. Um, what do you look forward to most about next year? Uh, I look forward to meeting new people and being with people from last year that have graduated. Nice. Cool. Thanks, guys. So what are you looking forward to most about next year? I'm um, going to college, having more freedom, not having to wake up and come to school every day. <laughs> uh, what college are you going to? I'm going to COCC for two years and transferring to cool. the university. Cool. And um, did your friend groups change when you came into high school? Um, not really. But um, other kids like I've heard of like completely like switch friend groups but like mm -hmm. I don't know that didn't really happen to me that much. It's probably just because I only had like a smaller circle of friends like middle school and like, just, like you kind of stayed hanging out. 
Okay. Throughout high school. Cool. Cool. Okay. So, did your friend group change when you uh, came into high school? Um, I don't think it changed. I think it just got like. So everyone used to be like a big friend group. Like it just got all into smaller friend groups, but we all like hang out with each other still. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, do you think that you'll be successful in uh, the later years of high school? Um, I think if I apply myself, I can be successful because high school is not that hard and you kind of have to have the teachers like you and older siblings <clears throat> that already went here. Mm -hmm. So I have both of those, mm -hmm. so I think I can probably do it. Okay. Who's your okay, Bo, so um, did your friend groups change when you came into high school? What's up, boys? Um, no, not really. I would say, like, you know, everyone loses some friends throughout the years, but for the most part, we all stayed the same. Okay. Stayed solid. Okay. And uh, were you successful? I mean, I would say so. Okay. Ask other people, they might say something different. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. And that's it. Exactly. Um, do you think you were successful in high school? Somewhat. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I really don't know. What do you look forward to most about next year? Uh, freedom. Being out of the house and away from school. 